Hello and welcome to the final episode of the dogs.com.au wrap up for 2019. And what an episode we have for you today. We'll start off by heading to Maitland, where we saw Turbo Thomas continue to fly. We'll then head to Wentworth Park for what was a huge night of racing action on Saturday night, before finishing off with three heats of the Woi Woi Poultry Gosford Cup on Sunday night. Now let's head straight to Maitland where the Jason McKay trained Turbo Thomas has been in absolutely red hot form with 15 straight victories from his 16 career starts. His winning run continued on Thursday with a flying 22.05 over the 400 metres and wasn't he impressive? Turbo Thomas leads down the side and skipped away. Led by half a dozen lengths over Aston Duke, Hardaway, Harada and then Kiani Velvet. But around the bend, Turbo Thomas is a mile in front and Turbo Thomas makes it 16 straight. Well, there's no doubting that Jason McKay certainly is one of the leading Greyhound trainers here in New South Wales. And doesn't he have an impressive one on his hands there? Now, next up, we headed to Dapdo on Thursday night where we saw an eye-catching performance from Fauna's Flame. The Sergio Fauna trained Greyhound sticks with the pack early, but then put the afterburners on to streak away to victory. Sergio Fauna's flames dropped them well and truly. It's 10, 12 in front, high speed second. Oh, followed by Good Eyes Chrissy, fantastic Pippa. But Fauna's flame, he wanted to get off, but don't worry about that. He has demolished him. He's won by 14. Another eye catching performance from the South Coast was that of Jason Magri, who amassed a total of four winners at Bulleye on Saturday night, all over the 400 metre trip. In now, and zipping Ivy, grab manager said right on the... For some trainers, notching one winner is good enough. However, for Magri, this was something special. We'd like to congratulate Jason on this achievement, and no doubt he will be smiling for a long time to come. And then next up, we headed to Wentworth Park for the night that everyone had all been waiting for. The Battle of the Brothers, the four dog match races, Ebby Ripper's final run, the night had it all. In front of a vocal crowd, the Group 3 Christmas gift certainly produced, with Good Odds Harada and Feral Frankie putting together a genuine battle to remember. Feral Frankie's trying to really give his brother a race here, and they're eight in front of Jimmy Casey. M by Good Odds Harada turns in front, he ran off. Feral Frankie drove through. Feral Frankie hits the lead, and he's brought his brother undone tonight. Feral Following the race, Jack Smith said it was nice to win once more and to get a victory in such a race. Yeah, nah, he got across nice and sat on him and he was just too strong tonight, but it's nothing to take anything away from Frank's dog, he's a really good dog and if we do it again he might beat me, so we'll take it. In the Group 3 Christmas cheer, we saw the John Finn trained duo of Blue Moon Rising and Veloce Nero take on the Jody Lord trained Just Turns, who's been in fine form of late and was no doubt going to be a challenger. And when the stayers got into stride, it was Just Turns who put her talent on show for all to see. Just Holmes about to let him know that he's there. He's looking for the inside. China O'Brien out very wide. Just Holmes ran to the lead from Blue Moon Rising. China O'Brien out wide, but Just Holmes wins it. Following the race, Andy Lord said it was a great moment for her to win against such quality opposition. Yeah, she was good. She a um, very, very strong bitch. And I don't think Wentworth Park suits her, but we'll take her away now and see what she does. Finally at Wentworth Park, it certainly was a special night as we farewelled one of the greats here in New South Wales, Ebby Ripper. In front of family and friends, trainer Michael Eberrand said it was a little surreal that the dream run had finally come to an end. Yeah, it's almost three years, so it's, uh, it's a big part of your life and um, part of the family's life and um, a lot of sacrifices, a lot of travel, but you know, just a dream come true. Yeah, it's, it's sad, but it, it's, uh, it's a celebration of her career as well, so yeah, mixed feelings, mixed emotions. We'd like to wish Michael, his family and Ebby Ripper all the best into the future and thank you for the memories. Now finally, we headed to Gosford on Sunday night for three heats of the Woi Woi Poultry Gosford Cup and it was Peter Lagagioni who stood up once more with the Ray Zipper recording the fastest heat time in heat two of the cup. Who Ray Zipper coming back at it. Three lengths away, the bad Zipper, Connie's boy and Uzo in the straight. Who Ray Zipper went straight past Fire and Ice. Who Ray Zipper beat Fire and Ice. Kid Candle would claim heat one in a time of 29.49 and Typhoon to excel Heat 3 in 29.63. With the box draw conducted on track following the heats, the final will look as so, with Group 1 winner Bucks Future drawing the inside alley, double back the two, Heat winners Kid Candle and Hooray Zipper are the five and six respectively, and Connie's boy rounding out the field in the eight. Now we'd like to wish all of the trainers and greyhounds the very best for the race and hope for a safe journey. That's all we have time for, folks, in 2019. Thank you very much for joining us throughout the year. All of us here at the Dogs TV have had a fantastic time putting this together for you, and we hope you've enjoyed it. Now, we look forward to an even bigger and better 2020. See you next year.